distinguished faculty, invited guests, and fellow students. Good morning and welcome to the 2016 Shadyside Academy Convocation. My name is Armand Latif, and on behalf of the Student Council, I want to welcome all returning students back, new staff and faculty, and as well as all new incoming students of the class of 2020. I've been thinking about what to speak about today. And I've heard from time to time that people fear certain grades or fear certain classes. And I thought it'd be helpful to talk about dealing with our fears and trying to overcome them. So I have a hidden fear. For those of you who do not know me, I have a deathly fear of dogs. Um, as a child, I used to get chased by dogs and nearly got bitten several times. So since then, I've stayed away as far as possible from them. But one of my worst fear with dogs <laughs> came true last year here at Shadyside. <laughs> the seniors always like to play a little prank on the school, ranging from zip tying our backpacks together to actually taking our backpacks and hiding them. But no, last year, the senior class could have chosen any other prank possible. They chose to bring their dogs to school for the first few periods of class. Now, for probably 99% of the school, including teachers, staff members, and students, it was the best thing that ever happened to Shadyside. You know, cute, adorable, cuddly dogs to pet and play with. Oh, but no. For me, I couldn't even leave Row that day, and I was, so, I was so terrified. And I was so happy that the staff got rid of the dogs quickly. But after that day, I realized something. I realized I was sick and tired of having this fear of dogs. So I decided to deal with my fears. I decided to surround myself with dogs, to learn about them, even start to play, play with them as best I could. And even today, I was gonna bring a dog to school to show you that I finally overcome my feel, fear and faced it. But now similarly, many of you may have fears coming in as students. As a freshman, just understand that you may have fears coming in as a new student. I encourage you to get to know each other, to get involved in our school through organizations and clubs, and really start to discover what you're interested in. Work hard and do well in school. There may be times this year where everything seems to go perfectly. You get an A on a tough physics test, you make the varsity tennis team, and you finally understand everything that's happening in Spanish class. But there may be times this year where everything does not seem to go so well and falls apart. You may not make a varsity team or chamber choir. You may be late to first period math, even on a late start Tuesday, and have to run to the dean's office to get a late slip. And trust me, that's not a good feeling. And you may even run back from lunch to row when it's three degrees outside to only realize you left your backpack in the dining hall. Just understand that we've all been there and be comforted in the fact that any upperclassman will be there for you. Now for the sophomores coming in, you may be fearful of the college process starting. And I would suggest that you really do well in school and start to focus on experiences from the previous year to expand upon them. You are given more responsibilities, but it's a year of relief because you now finally know the routine in school. You now know what teachers expect and what it takes to succeed. Use this year to really shape who you are and to have fun. Now junior year. Junior year always retains the stigma of being the absolute hardest year and you'll always hear pe people fearfully say, just wait until junior year. Yes, although junior year truly begins the college process, the world of standardized tests, coaches relying on you more, and the final infamous US history paper, junior year also allows for much more freedom. You're finally an upperclassman. You finally get your license and get to legally park in a student lot, something you shouldn't have done as a sophomore. And you really start to build your life. Now juniors, please remember that you may be fearful of making mistakes. It may happen and it's totally normal to feel stressed and overwhelmed. But just understand that you will always have the support of your teachers, advisors, and fellow students to help you persevere. And finally, seniors. This is it. This is what we've begun to conquer our fears. This is our final year here at Shadyside. And we've grown wiser by being challenged by our dedicated faculty and learned from each other. But by this time next year, each of us will be starting a new chapter in our lives, a new chapter in adulthood. We will get to spend one final year together. And this will be the final year we play on the same teams, the last year to enjoy the commodity we have participated in developing clubs, 
This will be the final year we have intense discussions in class and the final year we walk together in the same hallways. So seniors, enjoy each other's company, be there for the younger underclassmen, and create great more memories that will last a lifetime. This will be the final mark, the final year we get to leave our mark on the school as a class of 2017. What impression do we want to leave? In the end, just like I stood up to my fear of dogs, any of you can stand up to any fears you have here at school. Take advantage of all the great opportunities Shadyside has to offer. We are very fortunate to have very dedicated staff and faculty, as well as outstanding students. If we as a community can be there to help one another bless you through their fears, <laughs> we can get through any challenging time and persevere through any grade level. Thank you very much, class of 2017. Thank you, school.